Christine about her magical trip, wonderful trip that happened. Um, I haven't been to Peru. You just did this amazing trip to Peru. And um, you'd been to Peru before. Uh, right? Yes, this is my third time, oh actually, to, to Lima. Well, you liked Lima a lot. And I know you've gone there, but a lot of times you've gone and just stayed in, in Lima, right? And not gone to Machu Picchu, or am I mistaken? Well, the first time... I went with Shirley, Ron's mm -hmm. wife, my neighbor, and we we kind of did a little mileage um, run thing, you know, to get to your nine miles. I know that one. And that was a fun trip. We were there three nights and stayed at the JW Marriott uh -huh. in Miraflores and had a fantastic time. Yeah. Then the next time I was with Garrett, uh, we had taken our cruise from Papaete to Lima. And then spent the night at the JW Marriott, then flew to Ecuador, and then on to the Galapagos. That was an amazing trip, yeah. That was on which, was that Oceania? That was Oceania. Oceania, yeah. Yes. So this time, now for those, just a reference that don't know Christine personally, but everyone knows Christine. Her <laughs> son is Garrett. Her, her son is brilliant. Um, really just a, an amazing young man. Um, just brilliant, really. I, 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 you've got an ideal son. Um, and he really was involved in this, and you were going with not only you and your husband, Fred, but Garrett and his partner, what's his name? Kevin. Kevin. So this has been planned for a while, and, and Garrett, because I think partly because he's on the East Coast and involved in a very high-end corporate job, is a foodie. He's a foodie. He's a foodie, and he's <sighs> used to very high-end things and stuff. So he knows, I think he got this trait from you, Christine, where he uh, made some real complete advance plans for this trip. Yes. And rather uh, high-end, we, dare we say high-end? High-end. Michelin star. Michelin star. <laughs> you know, top 40 <laughs> restaurants in the world. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so we can say high-end. Yes. Um, so let's go the itinerary. You left here. Of course it was United because you did make 1K this year, didn't you? I did. You did. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. It's harder than ever. <laughs> and it's going to get harder next year. But we're not going to get yes. <laughs> But you went here and you left and there was a storm and you did hit um, Denver in the middle of a snowstorm, didn't right. you? Right. Yeah. However, okay, so my routing was Maui to Denver, mm -hmm. Denver to Houston, and Houston to Lima. So mm -hmm. Houston to Lima is like six hours. Mm -hmm. And the great news is Denver, they are prepared. You know, they they, they know have snow. the what de icing everything is just like clockwork for mm -hmm. them. So really, we had no delays. Oh, that's wonderful! It, it was fabulous. The delay came at Lima Airport. Little did we know when we arrived that evening so you will arrive like about midnight so we arrived and we spent about two and a half hours in immigration that's that's a long time when you're tired at the end of a long flight okay little did we know that that saturday was the equivalent of their super bowl in what football their oh, soccer oh my gosh so it was the the Brazil um, team, the professional team against Argentina. Oh, my gosh. So we were with thousands of fans oh and gosh, in, for that. in line, and they are singing and shouting. It was oh quite exciting. Um, no fights. And there was no expediated line you could get through on this Not one. Not when you have thousands Just, of people. It's like Super Bowl. Oh, my really. gosh. You know, arriving the Thursday night, and the game is Saturday. Wow. So anyway. The so you didn't get to your hotel till about, what, 2.30, 3? Wow. Well, the good news, I, you know, I, I say, you know, you have a lemon, you make lemonade, right? Yeah, yeah. So I was very blessed. So I was in line with these thousands of people, and so, you know me, I like to talk story. I started talking to this gentleman, and he was alone, and Fred was, you know, a couple people behind. and So we had this great conversation. Well, he was the one that lived in Chicago that his passport oh, right. was a nightmare. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, five days short of six months. So 
his family had arrived the day before,、mm. and his father is from Lima. However, he is a doctor in Houston. So anyway, Sebastian, he said, "Well, the good news is I got my passport." And I got to fly over in business class. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and he didn't, you know. So he was happy. So we were in line now. We're talking over two hours. Wow. And the line is moving so slowly. Anyway, so we're talking and know about his family, everything. Oh, anyway, so what happened was, I had booked a car to pick us up at the airport. You know, to take us. And the us. person was waiting all that time. No, he left. He oh, left.、No. So,、yeah. meanwhile, I get in touch with my tour, and they said, "No, the driver left."、Oh, I said,、God. "Well, he, you know, it's it's like chaos. It's it's crazy." So, I asked. Well, Sebastian said his driver was there. So I said, "Sebastian, can I pay your driver to take us to our hotel after he drops you off?" Well, it comes out, turns out it was his car and his driver. Oh gosh! <laughs> so to make a long story short, he. Let us go into his van,、oh, nice. and his driver dropped us off at the JW Marriott. Oh, Cindy, and, and now the Marriott is on the ocean in Mira Flores, correct? And and tell me, I mean, I really have never been there. That's on the west coast or east coast? Oh, that's you mean of Peru? Which, yeah, which side of the? I don't know. It's on. It's on the west coast. Right. Right. And you're so you're there. You get your room and check in. By about three thirty, correct in the morning. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. And you did go to sleep, and I that usually <laughs> you're not going to stay up at that. So I hope you got a long sleep, and then you what'd you do on your first day? Okay, so on the first day,、um, I actually had to leave the next day to fly to Cusco,、mm -hmm. and the car was picking us up at four thirty a.m. No, <laughs> so I could not have my breakfast for the next day. So I had my breakfast Saturday instead.、Uh -huh. And anyway,、um, with the room, it was、uh, massage was included for、nice. two people. So we had massage, and we went to the local、um, shopping mall, La Camar, which is absolutely beautiful. Walked right across the street. Well, my boots. I lost the heel off of a boot. Oh my! And I have wide feet. So anyway, Fred said, "Well, we just go and buy you a new boot." Well, it's not that easy. So I asked the concierge. I, you know, it's kind of embarrassing. He said, "You know, I lost the heel off of my boot. So when you walk, it's uneven、oh, and yeah, it makes a terrible to,、yeah. sound." And I said, "Is there a, a shoe repair place I can take it to?" He says, Let me make a phone call. Well, he made a phone call. He he said, "Okay, leave your boots with me." I think maybe those boots weren't made for walking. No. <laughs> And four hours later,、uh -huh. I got my boots oh, back that's great. with a new heel, polished. Ah. Do you know how much it cost me, Cindy? Th this gentleman. Twenty-five dollars. Ah, twenty soles.、Uh, that's great. Yeah. So this is how much? Six dollars. Oh, that's amazing! To pick up, deliver, and、uh -huh. anyway, so. Well, we only have a few minutes、okay. left. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's talk about the trip. Okay. <laughs> so, oh wait, I have to do a shout out. May okay. Do, okay, Cindy Wada, my sister. Hi, Cindy. Her birthday Sunday. Happy birthday! She's gonna be. A Sagittarius. No, she's.、Yeah. What is sixty four minus? You don't minus, go telling、uh, okay. people on、oh, okay. the air about someone's、okay. age. All right, thank you. Happy, happy birthday, Cindy. Okay, so we flew to Cusco. Now, when you arrive in Cusco, the elevation is quite high, and what is it, eleven thousand feet? And high,、yeah. luckily, I did bring some diamox, so we did、that、take. That helps with altitude. Yes,、yeah. and then the hotel we checked into, they had the coca. Leaf tea and、oh. um, it it was really fabulous. Is it drinkable? Yes, it's not bad. Yes. Okay. Yes. So do you get high off it? No, no,、okay. I I didn't get high off of it. So then from well, this coca plant, same plant that cocaine from. Right. Okay. Right. So this hotel was the Antigua Casona San Blas Hotel, and, and in the evening they have hot water bottles in the bed. They、Ooh. have a fabulous. Breakfast、mm. made to order whoever's rancheros, burrito, pancakes, French、nice. toast, 
And uh, so we went to Saskahuaman, which sexy woman <laughs> is ruins that day. Then the next day, Monday, we had a 7 a.m. pickup. Oh, and then Garrett had arranged this guide. So the guide actually met us in Lima and, well, no, I'm sorry, in Cusco at the airport. And he was with us every time. So he got, uh, we had a nine-passenger van with a driver. So he would pick us up at the hotel. Now, where is Cusco in relationship to Machu Picchu? Okay, Cusco is, um, what was it, 80, 80 mile, 80 kilometers south of Machu Picchu. East, yeah, of, of Machu Picchu. And it's at, at a, how many th- feet? Um, 11,000? Cusco? Yeah. Cusco, yes. 11,000, okay. And Machu Picchu is lower. Oh, okay. This is yeah. good to remember because a lot of people think Machu Picchu is higher, but no. Cusco is higher than Machu Picchu. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cusco and is, so it's a good place to come into because you're kind of acclimated. Do most people who go to Machu Picchu, Machu Picchu also go to Cusco? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's where you fly into. Okay. And then we took the Hiram Bingham train, which is the luxury. That's a famous luxury train, huh? What yes. What's that like? Oh, wow. You talk about luxury. Um, they have open bar. They have this beautiful observatory car. Oh. It's open air, musicians. Oh, my gosh. Unlimited bar, fine dining. And oh my gosh! It, it's it's very luxurious. But it, how long a train ride is it? It was about three and a half hours. Oh, and how it's nice. the most beautiful scenery. But you're on at breakfast time. Yes, we went on at nine thirty. So you have breakfast, not nine oh five, and then and they um, have music and stuff going on. At yes, breakfast? a fabulous band. In fact, Fred and I ended up dancing. Um, Garrett took a video, so we got on at nine oh five, and we. Um, Ended up twelve twenty four in Aguas Calientes. Is it very expensive? It's okay, five hundred dollars a person. It's expensive. Yes. However, Garrett was able to get it. They had a special. You know, you just got to keep an out for three hundred fifty dollars a person. They do give you a lovely backpack for each person That's as a nice. gift. Nice. And a lovely water bottle. That's nice. And the food is. Incredible. Okay. All right. We've got eight okay. minutes, nine minutes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. That's why it was pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cindy. Well, anyway, so we we went to Machu Picchu, and we were blessed with the best weather. So we went in the afternoon, and in the afternoon, there was hardly anyone there. So in our photos, it's, you know, you don't this have This is a big tip, folks. If you're going to Machu Picchu, don't go in the morning. That's when everyone goes. Go in the afternoon. In the afternoon. And the difference is, of course, a lot of people do not have the access to the hotel close to it where you can do that by going in the afternoon, right? And then remember, you do need to get a time ticket. You do need to get a guide. So it's something that you need to do your research. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's not like you can just go there and go in. You cannot go in by yourself. In the old days, you could, not now. No, not now. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we went in the afternoon. It was absolutely perfect. And then we just had, you know, the little mist of blessing, Mm -hmm. little shower, and that was it. The next day, we went back in In the the morning morning because we wanted to do a hike. So Garrett and Kevin did the intense hike. When you say intense, how far did he go? Four and a half hours. Oh, that's intense up yeah, in that Machu altitude. Machu Picchu, yeah, Montan- Montana. That's at 10,000 feet or 8,000? 8, 8,000 uh, Probably feet? They were probably up at 8,000. Okay. And Fred and I, with our guide, we took the Temple Gate hike, which was not as strenuous, but still... It, with the altitude. Sure, you feel it. You feel it. I mean, you walk steps, steps, and then you have to rest. Yeah. Another um, suggestion, be careful of mosquitoes. So Fred oh, had, I you know, that. Thought of that. That's, I thought at high altitudes you wouldn't have oh, mosquitoes. No. So he had that zippered 
pants, so, you know, the weather was beautiful, so he got hot, so he unzipped his pants, and guess what? Their mosquitoes are teeny tiny. Oh. He's got probably about 40 bites on each leg. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And, and I never have heard them being mosquitoes out there before. Yes. So wow. be careful about that. But you that. didn't get bothered by mosquitoes? No, because I kept my long pants on the whole time. And long And long shirt. sleeve shirt. Didn't bite your face and neck? No. Oh, no, I got one little bite right there. Wow. That's it. Okay. Poor Fred. Yeah, so. What he, about Garrett? No. Did he get bites? No. Oh, he did. He did get, but not as many as Fred. Mm-hmm. Fred's tastier. I guess. Yeah. So that that hike took us uh, f- almost four hours because going up. Do you up, actually get to walk around the grounds of the, I guess they call it the temple? Um, oh, the yes, you do. You the Citadel, yes. Did you feel the energy? Was there special energy up there? It's It's a very peaceful energy. It really is very peaceful. That's and, nice. And, you know, the Incas. Did you have time to stop and just sit and be there and hang out? Oh, yes, we yeah. did. We did. And, well, especially on the hike mm-hmm. because we had to rest Yeah. going up. I mean, we really, we just sat and, you know, you just rested. And the views were the most it's Beautiful layered, things. isn't it? There's different levels and layers of the temples and the structures, right? Yeah, it's terraced too, and and then uh, there's some parts, of course, they'll rope off. You know, they don't want people to go to. Mm-hmm. And is it is there some that are kind of feeling like they are pyramid in structure? They, no, how, how no, old not are the pyramid. Stru- how old are the structures? The structures were what was it? Fifteenth century, fifteenth century. That's very old. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. very old. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was two days, and by now you're already four days into your trip. Yes, four okay. Or five days, yeah. So then we took the the Peru Vista Dome train back. Mm. So that was not as fancy as the Hiram Bingham train, but still a lovely train. Mm-hmm. And that took four and a half hours. So we left 443, and we got into Cusco at 930. Wow. Okay. So, so that's day. It's, that's it's a day. A, it's a long yeah. day, you yeah. know. After after doing the hike and after, oh, yeah. you know, visiting the ruins, uh, it's it's a long day. Now this this uh, five star Michelin restaurant was that in Cusco or Lima? Okay, that so was in Lima. So there was um, Central, which was in Lima, and then in the Sacred Valley we went to another Michelin star M I L meal. And that was also, again, uh, one, two, three, four. It, it's a lot of little plates. And the presentation and the explanation, they try to use all the native plants and herbs and vegetables. And so it's one of those things where you have the little designer plates that are very specially done and small servings, but lots and lots of courses, right? Yes, yes. You said one dish had like 16 courses? No, this is the the one um, restaurant, Central. Oh, okay. We had sixteen, and this is the menu on this little circular. It's a circular menu that goes <laughs> around in a circle and tiny little things like a spiral. It's very small. It's very hard, hard to read for people who have bad eyesight. And our guide Wilfredo, who's Quechua, he was absolutely fabulous. Absolutely so he bad. was still your guide in Cusco, or by this time? It was everywhere. He, he, oh, everywhere. Okay. Because when we went on the Hiram Bingham train, he took, like, the local train. Oh, okay. So he met us there. Uh-huh. And he was our guide into Machu Picchu. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. So then you're back in Cusco. Yes. And you're just there for a day or two? No, then the next um, morning we flew back to Lima. Wow. And we How far is it from Lima to Cusco? It, it is about a little over an hour flight. Oh, not that long. No, not that long. Yeah. And uh, we stayed for two nights at the Belmond Miraflores. In, which, in Lima. In Miraflores. So, it, you know, where the Marriott is, it, it's just a little farther down, closer to Barranco, which is the, the artsy district. And, and what kind of restaurant is the Belmondo? No, the Belmont is the a Belmont. hotel. Yeah, what kind of hotel is the Belmont? It is a very, very nice hotel. It's part of the, you know, the Platinum um, American Express card, the fine hotels and resorts. So what comes with, it comes with the upgrade if available, fabulous breakfast, Wi-Fi, and also they upgrade it. So our room, Cindy, 
had a bathtub that Fred said would take 300 80 gallons of water to it was fill. big it was huge you saw the picture yes okay. i did it was huge yeah. we, we had a sauna our own sauna room wow and it, it was huge sounds huge it yes. was amazing it was incredible and you got in there what time you got in there late so we got in there let's see so we got in there on thursday about 11 11 30 Oh, not no, bad in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. Oh, good. So you had that time yeah. there. And then we had a beautiful lunch at Rosa Nautica, which and is a hotel. No, which oh. is a restaurant that's there's a pier going out, and it's, it's like right on the water. Oh, how nice! So you're you're on the same, like it's so far out that you see the surfers, and you're in. The, it, oh, how amazing! Yeah, they're like right next to you, <laughs> practically. Oh, I love that. And Mexican the, food, or what we call Mexican food. No, no, no. What it's, kind of food? Well, Peruvian, South American, mm -hmm. and the seafood is the freshest seafood you can get. And the pisco sours are perfectly made. <laughs> and they give you a rose for each lady that leaves, so you uh -huh. get a red rose. So that, that was really nice. That was actually our Thanksgiving day. Oh, so you had a very nice Thanksgiving meal down there. Yes, yeah. and then the hotel had a Thanksgiving buffet. Ah. However, have, after having that huge lunch, we didn't have room for dinner. However, we went into the restaurant, and they have the most incredible bartenders. They're, they're artists. I can't call them bartenders. <laughs> yeah. You know, bar uh, artists. and. Yeah. And so, you know, the guy sat there, and she made these drinks, I mean, works of art. Amazing. And so then she brought me a drink that was made with some kind of hibiscus powder. And oh, it was my. Un unbelievable. You know, this sounds like an amazing trip. And, and I have to say, Garrett, um, really went all out on this thing. I mean, this is like not your typical trip to no. Peru at all. <laughs> it, it, it was like, a, it's a five-star trip to Peru. It, it was. And, yeah. and, and I must say, I would suggest um, people, if, you, if this is on your bucket list, you know, it is one of the um, seven new wonders of the world. In 2007. I had heard there's this new wonders of the world, huh? Yes. Well, because, you know, the original seven wonders, right. a lot of them are, you know, yeah. ruined. They're dilapidated. So the seven wonders of the world is the Great Wall of China, Taj Mahal, Petra Jordan, the Colosseum in Rome, Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro, Chichen Itza, Mexico, and Machu Picchu. Now, at 64 this you know the, with the altitude and you know go 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 it's exhausting really i i kind of wondered about that and it was yes. you, you did have a rather intensive schedule yes and and of course garrett has a lot of energy <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't mind but but you did it he's half our my age so <laughs> oh well you know what i love your trips i never get to do things like this myself so I'm always very, very excited when I get to hear your fabulous adventures. I mean, really, truly, um, I always thank you because I just, you come up with the most amazing trips. We're, well, in 10 minutes, 10 seconds, how much, what's your next trip? Oh, I'm leaving December 19th. I'm doing <laughs> San Juan, Puerto Rico, seven-day Caribbean cruise on <laughs> Celebrity for Christmas. We love you. <laughs> <laughs>